This is for people that love Unity so much that they want to leave it or you know you want to try something new. Um, you have two options actually. So one is to install GNOME shells. Uh, the other one is, is the fallback mode. And it's right from your repository so you can try this okay. So let me show you here. GNOME shell. I think this is called. GNOME dash shells. Okay. The other one is called fallback something gnome dash sessions uh, dash fallback and also if we're using gnome 3 here so also recommend um, what is it called the tweak tool All right this the uh, gnome dash tweak tool and this is the fallback and the gnome shells you can install this you know sudo app get installed or you can do this from your software center if you're more comfortable with that Anyways, um, after you have that, you can actually just log out, and you'll have those at your, um, you know, login screen. So it looks something like this. Let me show you here. All right. So when you log out, you have this uh, menu. Uh, when you click on this, you have to click on this little thing right here. I don't know what it's called. It's a little icon, and you have this menu kind of like this. Uh, so by default it says Ubuntu, but that's the one that's Unity 3D, and if you use Ubuntu 2D, that's Unity 2D. Uh, the difference is, you know, one has uh, graphic acceleration, and the other one, you know, is for shitty graphic cards. Uh, this GNOME Classic here, this is the fallback mode. Now don't get confused with this one and GNOME 2. It's actually using GNOME 3. Okay, so the one that you think uh, that's like in uh, Ubuntu 11.04. Now that one's using GNOME 2. Okay, this one's gonna use GNOME 3, and it'll look different. Uh, it'll look like what I'm using right now. Okay, uh, this GNOME Classic No Effects here. This is, I believe, is using just Metacity, and that's it. Okay, uh, if you install GNOME shells, then it will just say GNOME by itself. Okay, if it just says GNOME by itself, that's the GNOME shells. So you have those options in there, okay? And um, I'm using the fallback mode, or they call it the GNOME Classic, but it's using GNOME 3. So this will look something like this when you log into it, okay? Uh, it will just have applications and places, kind of like what you had in GNOME 2. Um, if you're using GNOME Shells, it'll just say activities, all right? Now in here, you can actually do some customization, you know, remove some junk that you don't use. Um, by holding alt and right clicking on here you can add some stuff to the panel but not all of these you know work with uh, this mode or this panel that they have here so up to you to try it but it's not guaranteed alright um, as far as changing themes and stuff like that like I said uh, with the the gnome tweak tool what is that the this is why I recommend you getting this because it has more options here to, uh, you know, change your themes. Because by default it's just ambience, but you can change it to, you know, the GNOME 3 themes here. And you can do some other stuff in here, but uh, you know, check it out. All you gotta do is, you know, turn it on, push some buttons, and it'll work. Um, so I think that's about it. If you want to try those stuff. As far as getting compiz to work with fallback mode, um, you have to do some extra work, which I'll probably explain next time. Uh, if you try right now, I believe it won't load, but you can tr you can give it a try if you want, and give me some feedback if you want me to do a video on getting compiz on here, because I did it a different way. So, anyways, try those out if you don't like Unity. Uh, or if you're using Unity and you want to try something new, uh, you can do this. And you can go back and forth, switch between them if you want. So that's it for this one.